What's up guys, Planet Drift 4 here, here to bring you guys a brand new video and today we're here with who and what did you do? Uh, my name is Asos Nunez and I played uh, Bisto Dragon Link at a VIP qualifier and I got second place. Nice. Um, sadly I bricked in my only loss and I feel like I could have like won that tournament if it wasn't for that. But the deck performed really well so. Alright cool, let's get into, into it. it. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Uh, for starters, three safer, mm -hmm. one black metal, one red MD, fell so all I needed. Okay. Uh, uh, Chaos Package, Sorry. black, white, uh, Red MD. I didn't play Chaos Emperor, I don't feel like it was needed. It's a good card, but like, you don't really need it to like do anything. Okay. Um, rocket Package, two Tracer, Recharger, Caliber. I feel like this is going to be standard moving forward. Okay. This is going to be my ratios for Rockets. Uh, Bistil package. Bistils. Yes. Lobelian. Three Magnum. Oh, I feel like this is also becoming the standard for Bistils. Uh, yeah. How are they this weekend? Oh, they were very, very good. I played a math mech player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can imagine they were. And, and it was like, yeah, I was like the only Bistil. He was mad that he played the only Bistil player in the, in the, in the, in the room. Because this, like, this cards are hyper busted against math mech. Yeah, it is. So, like, you know, I didn't even need my side deck for that matchup. I just beat him with these. The uh, cards were great. Um, and then the only other dragon, Nocto. Uh, you don't have to play this. This is like the 41st card. <laughs> But um, when it resolves, it's just super good. Who doesn't like an extender that draws a card and has like a great effect? That's nice. Uh, power spells, chaos space, quick launch. And speaking of power spells, brand new game, it's probably like the best spell in your deck. Uh, it's just follow up, recursion, draws, get your beast tools again on board. Uh, brand new beast. The field spells. And that's it for our, all the engine. And then non-engine, I only played... My only hand track was Yammer. Um, super strong and spray if you hit like Beaver. They need starter to keep playing. Um, and it's just generically good against like every deck. And then this was my only like non-engine. Okay. The Dark Ruler and the Kaiju. I feel like moving forward, this card gets better. Because there's going to be a lot more combo decks uh, in the next meta. It's going to be like um, super heavy Samurai, Mana Dome, all these decks. So this card will continue to get better and it's really good right now against like all the sprite decks, uh, runic variants and like Maturia and all that. So why the Dark Kaiju instead of like uh, the Oh, different the Dark Kaiju because obviously for, for one, it's the Chaos Space Synergy and two, you just want like Lubellion in your head. Okay. So when you go Chaos Space Pitch, you can get Lubellion. Okay, makes so sense. you really want access to Lubellion, so you want to play the Dark one. You don't care that it's a 7, um, if you can't out it, you were never winning, so you really want this. Okay. It's a really good choice for me. Cards are great. Um, your deck plays well into like... Every matchup is like Castira. So I basically took my chances. I'm like, if I don't draw like one of these um, against Cash game one and they opened, I'll probably lose. But that was something I was willing to live with. And then post side, I felt like I could really beat them with my side deck. Going first, but against every other matchup, you just win. Uh, most okay. of the time. Uh, let's get into the extra deck. Striker, Pisty, Romulus, Seal, uh, Quad and Dill. I didn't play these cards a lot in the past. However, I realized that these cards were, were pretty good because sometimes when your opponent interrupts you multiple times and you're able to get to Romulus, if you just get you know to like that part where you get pissed, instead of making triple verse up top, you make quad. And one really cool thing you can do is like you know you could reborn Pisty underneath this, make Dill, and just with one discard you still get Borland and Savage. So that's why I played it, it came up. Um, rather than just ending on Borland by itself, I feel like the Savage sometimes came up, you know. When I wanted that, this came up, and this is good under Barrier to, to end on CO Borland under Barrier. Uh, it was really nice. Uh, Gloomy, Triple Burst, um, Unicorn, Access Code, Borland, um, Borl Savage, Marin, I'll move this back here. Uh, Omega. <laughs> I punished a couple people with this uh, <laughs> when they gamble, you know, just get rid their, their hand, make them lose two. And Garura. <laughs> this one all one of <laughs> All one of Yeah, this card, uh, I'll talk a little bit more when I get into the side deck. Uh, okay. All these cards came up, by the way. Every single card in my extra deck I went into, they all came up. They were all very good. What did the cash players rip the most? Um, it was uh, <laughs> it was tough. It was like Striker Dragon. They rip that? Yeah, 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 I figured. But, um... The thing is, like, you can link climb without it. Yeah. Um, you can like still get to like your big plays without it, and it and post like um, Cyberstorm Axis, you're gonna, it's gonna be very easy to link climb even even more. So, let's get into the side. 
Um, the third kaiju, mm -hmm. just because cash is like your your worst matchup. Um, three impermanence. I wanted something that was generic into like every deck. The only card that was bad against that I, I wouldn't even put it in is like trap trick. Yeah. Um, but you have like so much other things that are better against that matchup. Three cosmic. Uh, this is my only form of backward removal. Uh, people are wondering why I wasn't playing evenly matched. And it's because um, evenly is kind of bad in this deck in the sense that if you evenly cash, they still keep a rise heart and you still lose if you don't have a way to out the rise heart. So I'd rather have cards that just deal with it directly. Um, also, your deck doesn't lose to floodgates like skill drain and stuff like that. Uh, the only floodgate that really deals with your deck, that really hurts your deck, is Tikaboo. And there's no deck in the format I can think of right now that's playing that. So the cosmic was just more than enough, and if I played a runic player, this was gonna hit like the, the, you know, the fountain. So that's why I played those. And then for going first, I had the call by the appointer and three D barrier. Before the tournament, these were eradicator, but I had the deck set up like if I was going to like a big event like a YCS, and I was expecting a lot of like runic decks as well as Castira. Um, but I noticed that in my local or like in the event that I was playing and there was gonna be a lot of like Despia, a lot of brand, a lot of source so um, Sprite and also cash, like some cash. So this was a better call for that event. Otherwise I would play the Eradicator and it paid off. It was a good call. It was only dead against like Mathmic. Uh, but your deck is already good against Mathmic. So I feel like I made the right call with this card. Um, I didn't draw it, <laughs> so it didn't matter. It would have been nice. But um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I never draw barriers. <laughs> oh, and the spice. The last card for the deck Ooh, was super poly. Super okay. Poly. Um, I three would two of my opponents, and it was because game two I drew this card, and guys, literally every time I drew this card, I won the match. It was insane for me. Um, so as I mentioned before in the extra, I had um, where is it? Uh, you see. The Garura. So let me explain my theory with this. Um, I wanted Kurikara on my deck, but it's kind of expensive right yeah. now. So if you're a budget player, I would suggest playing this card because it's like the next best thing. My theory was I wanted something that would hit Kastira, but at the same time cover multiple matchups. And to my surprise, this hits more matchups than I thought. Like for instance, I played a Trap Trick player, and they had Reflesia and um, Sarah, and they're both planners. So I would. Super Poly and make Garura because they're both the same. And then also Garura is a level six and people forget it's a wing beast. So in multiple occasions, I summoned this multiple times in the tournament. I made Romulus with this and another dragon and I did Chainlink one to draw a card, Chainlink two to search ravine and it was like super plus. The other way it came up is with a quick launch. I was able to go Garura and um, a tuner into Barone and get a draw that way too and break boards. So the card was excellent against Cash Tira. Mud Dragon is very annoying for them because most of their interruptions target. So Mud Dragon being a four that you can just call dark at any point stops a lot of their hand traps. It stops Fenrir. Um, if they try to target, you just chain Guru. Uh, I mean Mud Dragon, and then you're just untargetable. You're protected. Also, these are the best levels for your deck. Um, they're some of the best levels are six and four. So whenever you super part of their board, is usually worth it. Uh, you're gonna be able to keep playing. These cards were insane. Again, if you can't afford Kurikara, this is like the next best option in my opinion, because it just covers a lot of decks. I wanted uh, Mud Dragon just in case Garura wouldn't come up. Like against Naturia Runic, this could hit like Nat Beast, and it's a beast, and some of them are like plants, like different, but they're all Earth. So this will come up against that. Uh, it was just super insane. Again, every time I resolved this card, it was um, the game was over. I so used it against Flunder too. So you probably bump it at three, right? Huh? In the future, probably bump it at three in the future. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was theorizing it with it before. I didn't want to play it at three at first because I I never played it before. So I was just testing. I would probably cut maybe like the um, maybe the appointer or I'll keep the appointer maybe maybe like an imperm or something um, and bump this up to three because this was insanely good, insanely good. Um, by the time next month comes around, I'll probably have the Curry Karas because Extra Deck is going to be super tight with the new support uh, from Cyberstorm. Um, and so Curry Kara will be just as good as well. Um, but for now, this will do. Um, and yeah. Anyway, that was the deck. The deck performed really well. I feel like for moving forward, uh, the deck is next format probably going to be a very good, strong contender. A good combo deck, assuming you play like, you know, the new support. Um, I would say minimum like tier 1.5, so Dragon players rejoice, I think that you're in a good moment. Uh, the deck's in a good spot, and it's going to continue to get better with the new support. Uh, let me give some shout-outs. Shout-outs to my boy uh, Lars and his uh, channel, Planet Dread 4. Uh, follow him. There's going to be more exciting videos probably coming in the future and that we want to share with you guys. Uh, support him. Also, shout-outs to PPG, um, Miami, Pro Play Against Miami, and cool stuff. Those are my stores. and. Um, 
looking forward to playing here more. I've been busy with school, so I haven't played here in a while, but um, <laughs> I'm gonna change my schedule up so I can play here again more often. All right. Um, Shoutouts to my boy George also who gave me these like dragon, <laughs> dragon shield sleeves. I, was, I had like some old washed up beat up sleeves <laughs> that kept breaking, and I don't think I would have like uh, got in second place uh, if he wouldn't give me those sleeves. And yeah, and shout out to all the boys, and yeah, that's it. All right, thank you, man.